Yes, there Kahana. is a lot of trade on season okay. 11 of okay, who's, your, sure. who's your hottest trade, though? Who's your hottest Kahana. trade? Who? Evie. Kahana. E Evie. So Evie, Kahana. Evie is also smart. Uh, who, I, by the way, I believe, and I know no inside information, all my friends know I hate spoilers, I think Evie oddly is about to win Drag Race. I think she's going to win as well, actually. I would agree with that. It's a very Sharon Needles kind of edit. She's Black Sharon, and as soon as she gets her Fifi O'Hara, she's about to fucking, and I think, I think it might be Raja, too, <laughs> from the legendary House of O'Hara. Who won this runway for you? Evie Oddly. It was such a cool yeah. interpretation of Fringe. Evie Oddly was giving you, like, jellyfish yeah. fringe. It was really kind. It I was obsessed with Evie Oddly from the moment I saw this. I was like, she's gonna be so good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lie to you. I thought she was gonna be an early out. I was like, she's not gonna make it far, but I love this queen. And then once the season started, I was like, this bitch is so fire. But yeah, I love this look on Evie Oddly. So many children. We could put this in the video. How do you feel about Evie winning? Yeah, I, I was rooting for Evie. Uh, should I say that in this video? <laughs> <laughs> should I say that? Wait, should I say that? <laughs> Where she's going? Is it mine? <laughs> I forgot so I was like, oh. See, what they forget, girl. I'm not new to it. But that's the thing too, like when people see drag queens doing stuff like that on TV or online or something, and then for some reason expect for their interactions with you to be different. Like everyone saw Evie Otley snapping on anyone <laughs> within <laughs> eyesight. Evie was yelling at anyone who would have come close enough to uh -huh. get yelled in her season. Uh -huh. Then when she started snapping on the fans, they were like, this is insane. Right. I'm like, girl, she did it on TV to bitches she knew for weeks. Before we get to the runways, this is what Evie, did you, did you see Evie Oddly's post today? No. Evie Oddly said, about to make some enemies, but, he, but um, I'm, no, about to make some enemies here, but I'm sick to death of seeing the same designers work every season of Drag Race now. Do the, do the dolls look amazing? Yes. But like, at what point are we just going to start crowning Diego Montoya and B. Kala instead of, um, um, instead of their mannequins? And then she said, this is for all you who holds auditioning for season 14. If you don't make it yourself, at least be unique with who you pay to represent you. And what are the comments saying? The comments are like, girl, you were reading my mind. Like, yeah, I agree. Like a lot of a lot of them are, are, are that. Okay, first of all, let's just be clear about one thing, in my opinion. B, B Kala, Domino Couture, Dallas Culture. Um, these yeah, are not, know. they're small businesses. So this yeah. idea of going in, for, trying to like come for the bag of these small businesses is just a weird take in general, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but also like, I understand the concept of wanting a Diego because you've seen them and you want one. You know what I mean? Yeah, just like, just like you see a, a, a fucking Alexander McQueen, you're like, I want that. But there are also, there are tons of designers. There are tons of new designers who make it on the show all the time. We just mentioned a few today right here on this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, some people who design for the show a lot, like, like Ray Ortiz. Bitch, RuPaul has been wearing the same designer for the past fucking 20 years. Zaldi. Uh, Michelle looks incredible. She looks Yeah, this is great. In fucking incredible. Like, oh Our top my. two of the week is... Literally. <laughs> like, literally, though. She looks amazing. She's wearing Sergio Hudson. So, which again, these are designed. I, you know, I'm happy that they're not wearing like the traditional the Gucci and well, J Lo did. Oh, Evie Oddly into the chat. Oh shit, Evie Oddly into the chat. I'm happy that they're, that she's wearing someone that we don't know and someone you know. I and she looks incredible. Um, oh, Jacob. All right, Jacob. Jacob, do a little extra credit at the end here. <laughs> um, so Jacob has a running design account, a la Evie Oddly. We wanna we wanna keep our. Our once current rating queen happy. You All right, Evie's drag race. Evie's <laughs> <laughs> drag race. <laughs> I do not think this was a double Shantae. I think if you compare it to Brooklyn Heights and Evie Audley from season 11, it's just yes. not as good and it doesn't need to be. Yeah, yeah one of them should have went home. I agree. That, thank you for that. Let me tell you about some real double Shantae. That Shantes. was good. The, Fifi versus Sharon Needles, that was a real motherfucking yeah. double shante. Um, yeah. Alyssa Edwards versus Tatiana, 
Yeah. That was a motherfucking double shunte. Evie Oddly versus Brooklyn Heights. I was in my yeah. house like, these bitches better that go the fuck off. Evie won, what, episode two or three, and she won with somebody else and ended up winning the entire thing, so. Wait, did oh, Evie, right. have, yes, did Evie, Evie have had one win? Bitch, one win, bitch. One motherfucking win. Gag. Wait, Evie Steve won Bond Drag Race Steve, with yes. one girl? I can't. Oh, no. Eve. I will say this, though. Watching the season back, I do think that Evie had a very strong package, if you know what I mean. But Evie, Evie um, she had a very, like, her, the, her whole journey was really strong. Tina Burner is not having that journey. I think people keep forgetting how uh, aesthetics are important in RuPaul's Drag Race, but also don't forget that like, there are still queens winning Drag Race without stunning, stunning looks. Like they who? Cool looks. Name one, name one. Evie, name, Evie, name. Evie Oddly, Evie Oddly. So you say that Evie literally. has shit drag? I think some of her looks were literally from the garbage and she said they were on the TV. So now what's up? Exactly. Evie was like, this is literally from the garbage. It smells like garbage. <laughs> and I think that um, people are like, you have to spend a bajillion million dollars to win drag races. You don't. You really don't. That does not that does not guarantee you a win on drag race. You know what I mean? Jada Essence Hall made most of her own looks. Uh, Jacob's reminding me. Jada Essence Hall was making her own looks there um, on, on RuPaul's Drag Race. So not everyone is like going, breaking the bank to bring these uh well that's different because because J- jada by trade she's a seamstress she sews not everyone is that and evie's a crafter she crafts she makes you know what i mean right and that skill helped her win rupaul's drag race so i think that the reason evie won wasn't necessarily because her looks were just so wild and sent. i think it's because that she did a really good job with the challenges and she just you know i think that she was nailing it the Britney estate. We don't know how much money Britney made. Free oh, this is true. But the Britney estate has certainly, certainly raked in a dollar on that day. And the amount of money they probably paid for those for these songs, bitch. That shit was crazy. Also, this was like, remember when Evie Ollie did her lip sync and she had free Britney in her panties? Yeah. This would be the perfect time to do that. We still want to have a designer on the podcast. We just haven't done it yet. We need to get Evie. We need to get Evie to actually confront Diego on the podcast. <laughs> Yeah. Uh huh. Like one of the things about season uh, season what was Evie season eleven? Eleven. Season eleven. I feel like RuPaul. Now what season was she on? Um, I mean... season eleven for me was less about the looks and more about the personalities. I will never forget Raj O'Hara so <laughs> being good. mad at She's plastic so tiara because she got a a hug. That shit was such good TV. Silky Nutmeg Ganache. I mean, I'm not gagging. If I had the lipstick, I was ready to do so. I know. If I had the lipstick, I was motherfucking ready. Watching watching Evie attack anyone who would breathe in her direction. (laughs) How dare you breathe? Um, The first episode, watching Silky Nutmeg Ganache grab Miley Cyrus by her wrist and fling her around like Cynthia from fucking Rugrats. It was Like, there was some great stuff on that season. I don't think a single queen who has won Drag Race has ever done a backflip. That's not true. Who? Vi- Violet can do a nope. backflip. Sonique. Sonique can do a backflip. Oh, Sonique. All right, into a split. Watching Sonique perform is so hot. Wild. It's Wild. It's so sexy. She's the epitome of sex. And you know, and you and I both know damn well Violet can't do no backflip. I don't know why you said that shit. In her, in, 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 her, in her little ring, in her little lira, she could put a little okay, backflip. Rolling in a lira and doing a backflip are not the same thing. A backflip is a thing where you're on the ground, your feet come off the ground, and they get, oh, Evie. Evie can do a backflip. Never mind. Evie, Evie wow. Uh, not erasing Evie. You are just like these fans. You have, you have done Evie so wrong this entire time. This is disgusting. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> start with a start with a, start with a, a big glass of shut the fuck up. How about that? She's she's Evie Oddly's drag daughter. Um, Did you see that video of her like chewing something and spitting it in Evie's mouth? Sounds like Denver. That sounds like some Denver. You ever done you ever done drag in Denver? I've never done anything in Denver. What's right now? Evie is a standard Denver drag queen, and that is all really. Period. Oh, Evie is a run of the mill, regular old Bro- Denver drag queen. You think Brooklyn queens are crazy? Denver's like, bitch, hold my kombucha. 
that I, that I made myself in my basement. <laughs> Growing up, I never even dreamt this was something I could achieve. I can't believe I bought a whole ass house. I, I knew I was going to be an artist, so I had um, I had made peace with the idea of my entire life eating ramen and serving fries to pay my rent. That's why it's truly so unbelievable that I can call myself a full-time artist and now a homeowner before the age of 30. And that's why that is my favorite Nicki Minaj song. Do you hear the lyrics in that? Like how she like how she like seamlessly integrates her life struggle into this. I mean, girl, bomb. The, her best song. I see you. Re I see you really want to talk about Yikes. Is there anything else you want to talk about Yikes? Anything specific you want to say about uh, the banger Yikes? But those lyrics. Do you agree that those lyrics are fierce? Yes or no? You know, I, I can tell you're doing a bit. I don't know that it's a good one, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna improv. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I think that when Evie wrote, I thought that when, when, when Nikki wrote that song about Evie getting this home, it was everything. Yes. And I think it shows how she's connected to the queer community. Yes. And, yes. um, I do think it's problematic that she calls it yikes though. I mean, well, not really though. I think, I think the yikes is meaning like yikes. I never thought that yikes, this is where my life is going to be. I'm never going to have a home. I'm going to have to eat ramen noodles. I'm going to have to say like eat fries, like yikes. Like that's what the yikes is in, is, is in reference to in my opinion. But I'm not Nikki. All right, can we move on from this bit? I do not. <laughs> I do not love this Nicki Minaj, Yikes. Evie Oddly <laughs> crossover bit. Yikes. Oh my God, we're not, we're not gonna do Yikes the entire time, Monet. <laughs> oh, there's a twist this season, which I kind of love. Enough twist. <laughs> Evie Oddly doesn't twist this much. <laughs> This is wild. Hey everybody, it's me, Bob the Drag Queen. Today I'm going to be recreating Evie Oddly's orange citrus circus look. <laughs> I mean, it does look good. All right, so, okay, off the bat, she's doing something I just hate, Jacob. She's using her fingers to do her makeup. And this is, I hate it. <laughs> a little over here, a little over there. What is this? At the back of your head. Look at this. <laughs> Wherever you'll feel it. Oh my God, I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I'm never gonna get this off my body. I mean, is the back of my head? I don't. I have no clue. Now she's blending with her fingers. It's just there's no there's no rhyme or reason. And also, just different techniques work for different people, different skin. I'm so annoyed right now. I'm so irritated. And she just keeps using her fingers, so I just keep using mine. Girl. <sighs> oh my god. This is the first one where I genuinely don't think we're gonna make it. I just, I just pulled one of these. I'm sorry, don't judge me. <gasps> oh, yeah, oh. Beauty. Oh, yeah, oh. Mm. I've never done this in my life. And then I actually just use my finger. What is going on? I want the shape to go. I blend it down. I so I don't even know how to do it. I I don't even know how to do that. And kind of find where I want the shape. Okay, girl. I genuinely I don't even know how to explain what she's doing. I blend it down, blend it out. Don't worry, I'll touch up all that mess. And I just then made. she just drags so it across by... her forehead like. This. Oh my god, it actually worked. <laughs> it like it actually worked. That is crazy. That that actually worked. I cannot believe that. And then you just kind of follow that inwards. What what you call it? Make everything black. I mean, what? Get some powder. Did you say follow that inward? First, clean your lips. Oh my, okay, all right. Ting. So I 
She's did something, but I can't do this. She cleaned her, her lips off, but she just used her sleeve. This is a brand new shirt. And just draw on some highlights with glitter, so I want to... Oh, no. I didn't... Mm. I jumped the gun. And then... mm -hmm. I really jumped the gun. I did this too soon. I did it. Um, I mean, I gotta say, I did not trust the process, but it ended up actually working out. Should I try to get Evie on the phone? You reached the voicemail of Javon Bridges. Well, I think this thing is busy. No, I just did your makeup and I want you to see it. <laughs> I just followed your... I just followed your tutorial and I want to show it to you on a Zoom call. All right, I'm gonna, it's from our YouTube page. I'm gonna send you a Zoom link. And then if this, if you like it, we'll put your reaction in the video, okay? All right. All right, bye. Can you hear me? Yes, indeed. All right, here it is. Are you ready for this reveal? I don't know, am I? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, bitch, so apparently my makeup tutorial is fierce because you look good. <laughs> okay, it was a wild ride. I mean, the, using the hands was uh, insanity. I could not believe. And bitch, the fact that I have makeup on the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, either you have makeup on the back of your head or you have Michelle on up your ass. So. <laughs> that is true. I, couldn't, I could not figure out your titty contour. I don't know how you did it, but bitch... No, I, it, no. <laughs> it works really. It works really well if uh, the audience is drunk and on a blurry call. But you also didn't have any. Like you weren't using sponge. You were just using your fingers. I was like, how do you get even coverage with your fingers? I don't know. It was. It's very impressive. But honestly, there was a point where I was convinced. I was like, this is. This one will not work out. This will not work. <laughs> Here we are. I mean, bitch, she made it to the other side. That's the thing is, it has to be a transformation. You can make up being pretty the whole time. If you do, you don't really understand what it takes to be this beautiful. I mean, it's kind of a serve. This is kind of a serve. Honestly, you look super snatched. Mm -hmm. you, make me, you make me miss white face. <laughs> All right, girl, I love you. Thank you so much for, for, for uh, this tutorial. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for showing me what makeup looks like when it's not on my face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girl, you be safe. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Bye. Please, please bring up the winner, uh, a winner of Drag Race, Miss Evie Oddly, to our screens, please. That's All right, right get it right. You better have the winner in the name. Hello, page. Evie Oddly. <laughs> Hi, now, all. Evie, can you reprise your role as a winner in today's performance? Listen, it's in the introduction. Like, when you win one thing ever in life, you win everything in life. I'm a winner. <laughs> I'm a winner walking into this shit today, so. And her power zapper. <laughs> <laughs> and Evie is what, coming what is back it? strong with a thunder cloud but... <laughs> and a rocket star. Okay, if, okay. <laughs> Evie is, ah. is not, oh, she's gonna stop. I, I, okay, ah. it, listen. I'm gonna consider it a victory if Evie gets one kill. Listen, that's, I'm, I'm just going for the one. If I can even see her at like around 100%, my job is done today. Yeah, I think that's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I think the question yeah. we have to ask ourselves though, is at what point does this become bullying? I think it is past that point. <laughs> oh my God, a, a huge fist just came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, oh this, yeah, this is shot, you're shooting oh in the wrong direction. Okay. I know. It's just so hard to know where you are. I know. Your this ass game is, is getting kicked from every from angle. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was very quick. So okay. We can please then come Mora back to the Zoom, and we just have a little exit interview with 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 uh with Evie. <laughs> Ew, Bayonetta is twerking on humping the ground. Evie, it was an honor. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you feel, like, nice and warm.
<laughs> Evie, how was your experience? Um, believe it or not, I've had worse. <laughs> I think you did a respectable job. Yeah, no, that's the thing is I knew I was here for the fodder. I did not know um, I was going to be like, good morning, chow, though. So, you know, sometimes you lose. And I this will be really humbling while I'm sleeping with my crown and scepter. <laughs> and I know now that I am not in, I'm in good company. I, I, I'm with Evie. I think, yeah, like I, I feel like I I did about as good or or something as around what Evie would have done, and I feel pretty good about that. For so some reason, wrong. Monet did not know Evie Ali was black, and I was like, "When the dick pic comes out, you'll know." By the way, full T, I, I was just fucking with you. Full T, I have Googled Evie Ali dick pic every day for the past three weeks. Just waiting on Reddit. Like, when's it gonna pop up? So I just want to point out that Evie said that if she wins any money this season, she will show full poll. Are you saying that Evie did get some money this season and that she owes us full poll? Wow. I mean, you got to take that up with Evie, with Evie oddly. I think, she, I think she said the lip sync. I, I think she said if she wins the lip sync. Jacob, we need to bring up this thing because if Evie owes us poll. She oh, said if I win any money this season. Oh, well. we deserve poll. Evie. You've been called out. Oh, yeah, what? I mean, to be fair, she didn't win it. She was gifted that. She did not she win won. that money. And Evie has won our hearts. Is my heart not worth anything? Is my heart not worth money, <laughs> she did not, bitch? Evie did not win. She was gifted that money. So I think that is a caveat there. Not you gatekeeping the poll. Not you gatekeeping Evie's penis. Not you. So, uh, so Evie uh, was the one that fucked you. So it was Evie. <laughs> no, bitch. You know, you know, you know, <laughs> the bitch, the editing on that final lipstick fucked me, honey. Okay.